What's up guys, George here, back with another video. I have the brand new and much anticipated Samsung Galaxy 7 with me. It will be officially launched on March 11th for 730 euros here in Greece, but I got it a couple of days early. So without wasting any more time, let me bring my little unboxing knife and do the unboxing. Since this is an unboxing video, let's talk about the specs first. The Galaxy 7 supports a 5.9 inch Quad HD AMOLED display, a 64 bit Exynos octa core processor, 12 megapixel main camera, 5 megapixel front facing camera, 32 GB of internal storage, 4 GB of RAM, and it's also IP68 water and dust resistant. The phone is available in four color options we've got black, platinum gold, titanium silver, and white. Let's start with the design and build quality. We have premium materials once again, Gorilla Glass in front and back, and a metal frame. Samsung didn't change their design philosophy from last year, following an if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach. But now we have slightly curved edges on the back, which make the Galaxy 7 more comfortable to hold. The phone is also heavier than its predecessor, and overall it feels more solid and has a better grip compared to the Galaxy S6. However, due to that glass back, the Galaxy 7 is inevitably a fingerprint magnet. The display, in typical Samsung fashion, is the phone's best feature once again. The Galaxy 7 supports a ridiculously sharp 5.1 inch Quad HD AMOLED display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and 577 ppi pixel density. Personally, I would like to see a slightly larger display, 5.2 to 5.4 inches is my sweet spot, but generally 5.1 inches is perfect for most people as it's big enough for media consumption but fairly compact at the same time. The screen is very bright and the colors look great. I think that the video doesn't do any justice, this is hands down the best display on the market right now in my opinion. In terms of the features, we welcome back waterproofing and microSD expansion. So the Galaxy 7 is IP68 certified, dust proof and water resistant, you can check out my Galaxy S7 water test if you want, link will be in the description below. And finally, we have the return of a microSD slot up to 200GB, which is not a huge deal for me, but I know that a lot of Galaxy users will be very happy about it, and it's a nice addition anyway. We also have the fastest fingerprint scanner Samsung has ever made, and that's definitely a good thing. As far as the camera quality is concerned, the Galaxy S7 comes with a 12 megapixel main camera with dual pixel technology, optical image stabilization, and a 1.7 aperture lens. Impressive specs without a doubt, and the camera performance doesn't disappoint. It takes some great pictures and videos up to 4K resolution, both in sunlight and especially in low light conditions. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter, and it's pretty good for selfies and even better for shooting videos or making video calls. When it comes to battery life, that was the only problem I had with my Galaxy S6. The S7 on the other hand supports a 3000mAh battery and battery life seems significantly better so far. At the end of the day, after heavy usage, the Galaxy S7 has usually around 20-25% to of battery remaining and for today's standards that's pretty good if not impressive. So thumbs up to Samsung for making this phone thicker in order to fit a larger battery. The Galaxy 7 also supports fast and wireless charging and it's worth mentioning that it has a micro USB port instead of USB Type-C. 
Finally, about the performance, it comes as no surprise that the Galaxy 7 performs great. I've been using the phone for 3 days and so far it's blazingly fast. I haven't noticed any lag or hiccups whatsoever. We have an Exynos 64-bit octa-core processor and 4GB of RAM as I've already mentioned. Samsung skin over Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow is pretty light, with some additional features like the split screen and the new always-on display. So in conclusion, I feel like the Galaxy 7 is the best Android phone on the market right now. It still has some flaws, like the mediocre speaker, which is again on the bottom of the device, the fingerprint magnet back, and the lack of an air blaster, which is not a deal breaker by any means, but it was a very useful feature and I have no idea why Samsung did not include it this time around on their flagship smartphone. Nevertheless, the S7 is a beautiful phone with great build quality, the best display on the market, excellent camera, and overall fast and smooth performance. It's probably an incremental upgrade over the S6, but it's definitely a contender for the phone of 2016 award. If you're okay with the screen size and you can justify that high price point, the Galaxy 7 is an almost perfect phone. So that's it guys, Samsung Galaxy S7 unboxing hands-on. I hope you liked this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and also feel free to click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. I've got a lot of videos coming up on this channel so stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.